Are you a video editor? That's great. Here's a video project I want you to edit for me. And it's a giant scam. Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Jason from EO7 Media and 4Love Films and today we're changing it up a little bit. We're gonna be hanging out in my office. I apologize for the echoey sound. I know it's not that great. I'm still working on that. But today I'm gonna be talking to you about scams. More specifically, a very certain scam that is affecting and targeting just videographers and filmmakers. So this is your first time here. Thank you so much for joining us. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I know everyone says that, but it is really important, and it makes us know that we're doing a good job because the more people we get on board, the more our cult grows. That's a terrible thing. Videographers and content creators are getting messaged on all forms of social platforms right now, not just emails or text, but we're also getting hit up on TikTok, on Instagram, on any other social platform you may be a part of. So maybe you've been receiving some messages in your DMs lately, and they're not the kind of slipping into your DMs that you wanna see. Instead, there are people asking you to do some work, but possibly not the good kind of work that you wanna be doing. Wait a minute. Let's go back in time. It was Thanksgiving 2021. I was hanging out at my in-laws house. I opened up my phone, put up Instagram, checking out some of the new feeds and boom, I get a message. Hey, are you a video editor? I in fact am. So I write back, of course, and how can I help you? Great. I was hoping you could make a birthday video for my daughter. I'll like to have pictures and a song played in the video, willing to pay 300 bucks. Well. I've done projects like this in the past. In fact, I've done a lot of projects like this in the past. So this message seemed pretty plausible. The only part of this message that kind of started on my scamdar, they offered money up front. Usually people are wanting to hem and haw over the price. And I'm thinking three hours of work equals $300. 300 bucks, that's worth my time. So I said, sure. Here's the link to the Google Drive where I uploaded the files. Okay, so I click on the Google link because I'm smart and I see about 10 to 12 photos in there that are professionally taken and a song. So of course, if I was gonna start their project, I wanted to be paid up front, so I asked him for payment. This is when the scam red flags went off. He then said he could only send payment in a mobile check, so he needs my full name, email, and contact information. Boom, we're done. I know it's a scam. I pretty much end it right here. Tell him I can only accept Venmo or credit card. I'm out, moved on with my life. Scammers typically prey on people who aren't paying attention as well as they should. Does this mean you're dumb if you fall for it? Not at all. Sometimes we just get caught up in the heat of the moment. Sometimes you just need a gig to pay the bills. And something like this sounds doable quick and easy. But nine times out of 10, if the gig sounds too easy to be true, it typically is. So let me walk you through how this scam works. Fraudsters will contact their victims through an email or social media posing as someone who wants work done. Most times when a scammer will email you, they just send you a blanket email. And granted, every time I've been contacted by these scammers, it's the exact same wording. However, they're coming at me from different Instagram accounts and each Instagram account has about 600 to 800 followers. It makes it feel like a legit person. In this case, a doting and loving parent who wants to give their daughter an amazing video of their photos for their birthday. They will then ask for your full name, email, or even banking account information. They will send you a mobile check, i.e. a fake check. Then a couple things can happen. Number one, they accidentally send you too much. Instead of the $300 they promised, oops, I accidentally sent 3,000. Can you refund me the difference? Number two, they just go ahead and refund using a third party. Maybe it's the little girl's mom or aunt or family friend, whatever, but they're moving the funds from that account into a separate account immediately. Or they're asking you to do that. Number three, for those playing the home game, number three. They will request the funds to be sent immediately or transferred back to them via money order, person-to-person -person transfer, think of it like Zelle, wire transfer, or even loaded gift cards. After the funds have been sent to the scammers, the checks that were deposited will then be returned and refunds will be removed from your account. Finally, four. This might be the most often case. Their initial check will bounce, leaving you having to pay the additional fees 
and the money that they already retracted back. So they have access to your account, they make the $300, you are out $300 plus the fee of the bounce check. Why does this happen? Sometimes banking takes time and that can get lost in the process. And these guys, if they have your account, will move fast. What do they say when you say, I only accept Venmo or credit card? Well, here's the answer I have gotten back numerous times. I use a business account, so it doesn't support third-party apps. That's my only option. And I never heard from them again. That's a lie. I actually heard from quite a few other people or the same people who aren't paying attention that they're writing the exact same person over and over and over. I get the message about 10 times, each time from a different account with different number of followers, but they're using the exact same script. Each time I either call them out on it or I just hit block and I hit that dirty old report button for fraud. Until something clicked, and I started messing with them. Now, normally, I would never share someone's personal information, even an Instagram account or a name, unless they wanted to be actually a part of the show. But these pieces of inhuman <laughs> don't deserve to be labeled as people, so I could care less about their privacy or well being. Before we get started, apparently, every scammer has a daughter named Evelyn. Who knew? Now, I consider myself somewhat of a funny person sometimes. I'm not the top of my game in any of these messages back. If I was, these would be a lot funnier, but really, I just did this for myself to make myself giggle. I didn't think I'd ever be sharing this. Say la vie. All right, I'm just gonna go through these. Are you a videographer? I am. Oh, that's nice. Well, I was just looking for someone to make a birthday video for my daughter. I'll like to have her pictures and custom-made song played in the video. Willing to pay $300. <gasps> That's like the 12th person this month who wants me to edit their birthday video. I am really good at what I do, apparently. Oh, that's great. When's the party? I was just wanting to have some of her pictures of her to be compiled into a slideshow and custom made song just for her birthday played in the background of the video. I could absolutely handle that. Now, I have to wear special shoes. Is that okay? LOL, it's just a slideshow. You can get it done from your laptop. Kind of condescending that you think I have a laptop. I could bring a laptop, sure thing. With the shoes, I also have to wear a bright red wig and some white face paint to protect me from the sun. All right, when's the party? On the 30th of this month. Great, I can definitely make that work. Part of my contract is that I have to wear a red rubber nose too. I know that shouldn't be a problem. You don't have to come. You can just send me the slideshow via Instagram. Oh, no worries, I can come. Spray the kids with some seltzer water. Kids love that. Are you going to have bozo buckets or should I just bring my own? So I should just bring my own? Unfortunately, he never wrote back. So this next one is the same guy who wrote me the first time. He wrote me twice, like literally in the exact same message. Like I can just scroll up and down and it's the exact same. Anyway, Hey, are you a video editor? I sure am. Great, I was hoping you could make a birthday video for my, you don't know this part. Oh, that sounds fun. Where would we be filming the birthday party? I really like cake. I was wanting to have some of her pictures and videos to be compiled into a slideshow. Is that doable? Here's the link to the Google Drive where I've uploaded the files. Excellent, yeah, we can film the birthday party and make a slideshow for sure. When's the party? And what kind of cake are you having? 24th, I'll need your full name and email to write you a mobile check for payment. For sure. What's your name and address? Will you have buttercream cake? I really like buttercream cake. I just need a slideshow of the images I sent to you. Like the electric slide? That's a fun dance. I enjoy the shuffle myself. We are ready to be there on the 24th. We just need to know the address. We recommend it's a good idea to order two cakes. As our contract states, we can eat as much cake as we want at birthday parties. And I do eat a lot of cake. I would not want to eat all the cake and have your daughter not get in any. You know, at this point, I think it's actually smart just to get me my own cake. If you can let me know where the birthday party will be, chances are I know a good bakery in the area. I prefer to have a good bakery cake. That way, whatever cake you ordered, your daughter can enjoy the whole thing. For some reason, he didn't write back. Then Josh Spade wrote me. Hey, are you a video editor? Yeah. This is such a great coincidence. I love shooting daughter's birthdays. I will take the pictures and videos and make an edit with a song and pay you $300. I was wanting to have some of her pic... 
Oh yeah, I would love to do that. I'll download all the photos and start editing right away. Where's the best place I can send payment? I'll need your full name and email to write you a mobile check for payment. Man, you're on it. Please send me your first and last name, email, and routing number, and I can send you over that payment and get started on this. I use a business account so it doesn't support third-party apps. That's my only option. Oh, I understand. That's okay. Send me your address and I'll send you money. How are you sending it? I am so excited to edit. I can't wait to get started. What address should I send the payment to? Are you sending it through Zelle? And then he literally tried to call me here. And then here's his email. Do what you want with it. Carlona Fogokik. 77 at gmail.com, send it to this Zell email and kindly send a screenshot of payment. I really don't trust Zell. I'll send you cash in the mail for this opportunity to edit. Unless you want 400 instead, I really want this opportunity and I'll pay extra to get this job. Just Zell it. If you have someone else interested in 300, I can double it. I don't trust Zell personally. I like to handle business the old fashioned way. If you'd prefer, I can pay in gold. I have to do a quick Google search on the current value to see how much gold I can give you. And since it's so expensive to ship gold and I really don't trust FedEx with precious metals, we can meet in person and I'll give you the gold. Josh never wrote back. <laughs> Good old Gilmore came a slipping into my DMs. Every scammer has a daughter named Evelyn. Hey, are you a video? We get it, we get it. Oh yeah, very cool, for sure. I can absolutely do an edit for you, but I'm not really feeling the photos and videos. They look pretty, I don't know how to say this, too similar to everyone else's. I'll come and make my own videos to make you into an edit. Okay, I'll need your full name and email to write you a mobile check for payment. You can pay me when I come over to shoot these photos. The ones in the Google Drive look so cliche and almost like everybody else's. I will shoot something truly unique for you and your daughter, Ebby. I, I love that he doesn't correct me on Evelyn's name, by the way. I use a business account, so it doesn't support third-party apps. That's my only option. Everyone's rocking these third-party business accounts. Good for them. They must get some awesome kickbacks. Not a problem. Eleanor is gonna love the photos and videos we do. We bring an eight-person crew. Two photographers, three filmmakers, a caterer to make our non-gluten cherry ice cream sundaes, as per our contract. A life coach to help Elena be the best person she can be in front of the camera and off the camera afterwards and of course a party clown. He, he hearted it. Unfortunately, that's all I have right now, but let's get into probably the more important part. How can you protect yourself? Never give out your personal information. Keep your account numbers, usernames, and passwords safe. One of your clients will never ever need your routing number or your personal banking information or anything like that. Also, a giant red flag, a client will never send you a portion of a check or too much in a check and ask you to refund it for someone else or to split that check with someone else. You are the owner of your account and your business. Do not hand that over to anybody else. Monitor your account activity. Get in the habit of reviewing your activity daily or weekly and immediately report any suspicious activity you have to your financial institution. For example, every morning when I get up in the morning, I make myself a tea or a coffee. Like to add in here, make sure you follow me on Instagram at EO7Media and you can find out exactly what I drink each morning because I think that's fun. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. Part of my morning routine after I get my coffee is to sit down and check all of my financial accounts, credit cards, bank accounts, things like that. Half of it is to make sure that nothing suspicious is going on, but the other half of it is actually to make sure that I'm keeping tabs on all my record books so I keep all my uh, expenses up to date and I don't miss anything in the process for tax season. Trust your gut instincts. If it all sounds too good to be true, it probably is. If you're new to this line of work, just keep all this stuff in the back of your head. But scams don't just happen to new people. I've been working video production full time for 13 years now, and I fell prey to this the first time I got this message. I didn't let it go too far, but it might have. Just keep your head on a swivel and trust your gut. Now, lastly, what should you do if you have fallen victim to this? If you've provided your banking credentials to another party, contact your financial institution as soon as possible. They will help ensure your account is protected and may need to change your account number to prevent fraud from occurring. Now, if you just get a random check in the mail, do not deposit it. Make sure you go and contact your financial institution like your bank. They're gonna ask you a few questions to help identify the source of the check. And probably more important, 
if it's legit or not. Your bank or financial institution can only help if you are willing to share in your suspicions. These kind of scams can really ruin your day or they can ruin your life. Trust your gut, be smart, ask questions. There are amazing online groups of videographers and just post something in there, post a screenshot. If something seems fishy, chances are it might be. What are some of the scams that you've heard of in your industry? Whether you're a videographer, photographer, or whatever, what are some of the scams that you know about? Make sure you write those down in the comments below so that other people will be educated about some of the scams that are out there. If it's possible, what's really important is writing exactly how they wrote it in the scam they sent you so that people can Google that, find that, and know it's a scam. And I really hope this helps someone out there and maybe brought a smile to your face in the process. Remember, be better and do something awesome today. Boom!